Welcome to another episode of Up Next. This week, we introduce you to the future of WWE, the prodigy Roxanne Perez. You're one of the youngest superstars on the roster. What is it like to live your dream and work with legends like Shawn Michaels? Oh my gosh, it's freaking crazy. Like, honestly, this is everything that 10-year-old me had ever dreamed of. Um, it's funny because when I was younger, I, I wanted to make history by becoming the youngest person to ever get signed. But that didn't happen, but I was able to make history by becoming the first ever women's breakout tournament winner. So it's been a roller coaster of emotions and it's been so fun, so I'm excited for what the future holds. Perez into the cover! Huge upset! There's so many things that I want to accomplish here in NXT, but my main focus is that NXT Women's Championship. And technically, Mandy Rose didn't really beat me clean because if it weren't for Cora Jade being obsessed with ruining every single opportunity I get, I probably would be champion right now. Roxanne and Cora certainly are. Whoa! It's just crazy to me because me and Cora used to talk about finally getting here to NXT together, winning championships together, making history together, and I don't know, I guess her seeing me get opportunities in certain places that she failed in made her bitter, made her angry, made her jealous. But I, I just don't recognize her anymore. It's not the Cora that I knew. It's not my best friend. And me and her have unfinished business. Okay, we both know the truth. You want me out of your life? I couldn't agree more. So let's settle this once and for all. Now once you do finish that business with Cora Jade, you've said it, you want another opportunity at the NXT Women's Champion Mandy Rose. You've faced her before. How will it be different if given another opportunity? You know, the first time that I faced Mandy Rose, she said something that stuck with me. I'm gonna teach you the difference between someone who is a champion and someone who only dreams of becoming one. She was right. I had dreamt of that moment my entire life. I, I was so starstruck that I was finally here and I failed. But within these five months that I've been here, I've changed, I've evolved. And the next time that I stepped in that ring with Mandy, I'm gonna show her why they call me the prodigy. And my dream is gonna become her nightmare. What do you do when you have two teams who absolutely can't stand each other? Well, you put them in the ring in a pub rules match. That's exactly what's happening this Tuesday between bitter foes Gallus and the team of Josh Briggs and Brooks Jensen. Joe Gacy has worked endlessly to get Cameron Grimes to join Schism. After the repeated nose by way of Grimes, Gacy will look to send a message by going one-on-one -on -one with the former North American champion this Tuesday on NXT. Nikita Lyons and Zoe Stark have their sights firmly set on Tag Team Gold, but not if the current champs can help it. Caden Carter looks to send a message to Lyons as the two square off this Tuesday. Damon Kemp has single-handedly destroyed Diamond Mine. Next step, destroy the Creed Brothers. Kemp looks to continue the destruction of his former stablemates as he goes toe-to-toe -to -toe with Brutus Creed this Tuesday on NXT. Make sure to tune in to NXT this Tuesday, 8-7 Central on USA Network.